Welcome to the TCR Show 2011 and I'm joined by Kevin Stewart who is now just been announced the new MD of Ironman UK Ireland. Uh, yes, thank you Annie. Um, yeah, we've got some changes at, uh, at WTC recently uh, and so we've created a post which is basically to manage the, the four Ironman events. Uh, UK Ironman, UK Ironman 70.3, uh, Ironman Wales and the Galway 70.3 event as well. So I'm taking a role uh, overseeing all of those events and working with the teams to deliver the events for 2011. Very exciting times. Your, your background is 2001 to 2008, director of London Triathlon, and you sort of like moved on, and this is now going to be your baby, very much your baby. That, that's right. Um, we got involved with London Triathlon back in 2001, and principally I was involved with developing the bike course into central London, working with the authorities to show them that something like that was achievable. I uh, got involved with starting up Blenheim Palace Triathlon and, and so on. Um, then we moved on and I started up Liverpool Triathlon as an event, which has been going for two years now. Uh, we're now moving into the third year and that's become part of the new 5150 series, which is a really exciting development. It puts Liverpool on a par with some of the global events in New York and Berlin and Zurich. And with that, it brings both an elite field and a prize purse of $25,000 for elite athletes. And they're also able to gain points, which will give them qualification to the high V in Des Moines, Iowa, which is the big money race in triathlon and, and has been a race that some Brits have been very successful in recently. So it's giving the elites an, an opportunity to come and race in Liverpool and also uh, give them access to the, to the high V race. But it's also there for age groupers, so if you're top 10 in your age group at Liverpool, you'll actually get an invite to go and race high V as well. And um, they're building up a fantastic race there in a great atmosphere, so I can see that being a real attraction for athletes who are looking for an international race and an international calibre event. And what's the date of Liverpool Triathlon? Liverpool's 26th of June, um, so it takes part, it's all based in the city centre in Liverpool, so people familiar with it, takes you past all the sites of the Liver building, Liverpool One, which is a new development there, the Echo Arena, um, it's uh, swimming in the, the docks uh, and then out onto a closed road route, um, four laps for Olympic distance and then we still do the sprint distance and super sprint so it's, it's maintaining its, its attraction for athletes of all levels um, but we just feel that the, the 5150 cache will be a, a real interest to those age group athletes. And you said there's a £25,000 dollar prize pool, so what's the top prize for the first female and male? I think on the spot there. Thousand dollars. Okay, so the top prize. Yeah. And um, <laughs> it's good money. There's good money. So any elite athletes looking for a good race uh, at the end of June, it's certainly one to aim for. What's the swim going to look like there? Is it likely to be a wetsuit swim? It's definitely it's wetsuit compulsory. It's uh, very similar in terms of the London uh, environment. We're swimming in the docks there, but it does provide a very safe uh, and very good course for the for the swim event. It's great for spectators as well. You've got the, the cycle event actually goes over the top of the swim. So in terms of spectators being able to, to get in there and see every aspect of it. And with the four lap course, you're able to see the guys on a regular basis. Um, and the 5150 series is a non-drafting race. So even for elite athletes, it's going to be a format for some of the athletes are going to find it a, a more uh, workable format for them. Fits their, their race strategy maybe better than the draft legal events that they have. So wh where did 5150 start? Because it is obviously a very new series. Well, it's, it's come out of, I think, just talking about the, the fact that there is a, another group of athletes out there who may not step up yet to the Ironman distance, but who still want to come and do the high-quality events, still want that full race experience. And it's really just providing a forum for them to be able to come along, race around the world, build up points as well, and also qualify for something at the end of the day, which is going to be a September event for the, for the high V. Uh, so it matches in with the 70.3 uh, World Championships which are in Las Vegas um, on the 11th of September this year and then also the, the you know, ultimate road to Kona approach that's, that's been taken. You, you mentioned that there's, there's just one, one race, 5150, here in the UK but there's many others going on around the world. Yeah, there's a schedule on uh, 5150.com, there's a full schedule, there's a lot of races in America at the moment, there's an expanding schedule of events in Europe, uh, Germany have just launched seven new races last weekend, um, we'll be looking at expanding the 5150 portfolio in the UK um, as we move forward, but um, it's, it's going to be down to the demand of the participants which we think when they see the quality of the events are going to be put on then 
added attraction of being able to go to High V. It's going to give them a, a really good race series to be part of. What, what's your main website for 5150? 5150.com is the main thing. You can go to liverpooltriathlon.co.uk to uh, have a look at the details and the route and so on for Liverpool. And then uh, ironmanuk.com is the, the main site for the UK events. Um, entries are really strong, so we'd expect probably Ironman UK will close in the next four to six weeks. Um, the Galway 70.3 is going to close very soon as well because we've already got 1,800 athletes for that. And then we've also got uh, Ironman Wales, over 1,000 entries already. Um, and we're looking for a real strong international field for that and it's already got a, a very big presence from America coming over to race in Wales, so it's nice to have that. What's the course like in Wales? It's going to be quite challenging. I mean, it's, it's an undulating course. The bike course has not got any major climbs on it, but it's just continuously up and down, left and right. Uh, talking to the guys recently, we've been discussing the, the time trial or, or road bike. Um, I think you're going to have to be a good time trial rider to, to get the benefit of a, a time trial bike on that type of course. And then when you come back in for the, the run, it's all going to take place in a four laps of uh, Tembe which is a stunning, stunning village um, and it's going to be quite hilly there as well. Uh, it's just the nature of the, the geography there. Um, but it's also going to be a real big atmosphere because we're going to be able to keep people together within one area. The transi transition is one transition. The finish is, is a matter of yards away from the, the transition area. It's very compact, good for spectators, good for families to come along and support. Sounds like a great race, it really does. Interestingly, the two races, Ironman UK, which takes, takes place in Bolton and Ironman Wales, aren't actually that far apart, are they? But yet the numbers of participants and the people registered is, is still already very high, which shows the number of people are taking part in, in the Ironman distance events now it is just growing at an incredible rate. That's right. I mean, I think that's one of the questions that people asked when we were launching a, a new event in the UK as to whether there was really the, the demand there for it. And I think we've, we've shown that there is the demand uh, and there are a lot of new people coming to the sport. Wales has 46% of entries at the moment are people who are new to Ironman. So I think that's the appeal that is being developed with a, a whole new market and uh, it's something that we'll look to work with them on the future so that we get them to become regular Ironman athletes um, and through the, the coordination now of all the Ironman events it means that there's more opportunity for people to be involved in the, the different events around Europe and around the globe. And um, the, the Galway event, 70.3 in Galway, it's the first time that uh, Ireland's seen a, an I, Ironman event take place there? That's right, um, there's uh, three local guys who approached uh, WTC and were very keen to, to bring Ironman to Ireland. They really impressed us with an enthusiasm and the commitment they wanted to make to it. So we're now working with them. They'll be local race directors. We'll still have a team coming in to, to support them to, to ensure the quality of the Ironman race is still there. But it's a fantastic location and for anyone who's gone over and enjoyed Irish hospitality, um, I think the main trouble we're going to have is getting people to come home from Galway uh, at the end of the race. And, uh, it's going to be a big party. I'm worried about my team, yeah. I'm worried that I'm going to get them back for uh, the work we've got to do the weekend after. But Work hard, play hard. <laughs> It, it's, it should be like that, but uh, yeah, they've, they've got a great course there. There's a lot of enthusiasm from the local community there, and I think that's an important thing that the, that the Welsh and Irish guys are focused on, is engaging with the local community and getting them involved. And we're going to help uh, develop local team leaders who can then go on and, and disperse the information that they've received through working on Ironman to other events and sports in the local area. So at the moment, in all four events, there are, there are still places available? Uh, Wimble Ball... 70.3 is already closed, um, Bolton and Ireland will close probably in the next four weeks. Uh, Wales still has capacity but we really want to develop Wales as an event so from that point of view we're, we're looking to, to increase the capacity at Wales as much as we can to accommodate the demand. Kevin, it's been very nice talking to you. I'm very excited about the events taking place and um, as everyone just heard then, that, then, that there are still places at Ironman UK, Ironman Wales and Ironman 70.3 in Galway. So if you're still looking for a race, you know where to go and the main uh, uh, um, website is ironman.com, isn't it? Thanks, Kevin. Thank you.